in the news, six Palestinian prisoners escape Israeli jail through tunnel. Federal government flags off campaign of national environmental sanitation. And Nigeria's foreign trade rises to 23.28% in second quarter. And to sports, Tunisia successfully defend title beat Cote d'Ivoire in final. This is coming up shortly. This is TOS Television, your digital first Pan-African news network. I am Mesafal Ajinomo, and you're watching TOS News 360. Israeli authorities have launched a massive manhunt after six Palestinian prisoners escaped from one of the country's most secure jails overnight. The men are believed to have drug a dug a tunnel from their cell over several months that led to a road outside Glibar prison wall. Officials were alerted by farmers who noticed them running through field. The fugitives include a former leader of the militant group Al-Aqsa Martyrs Brigade and five Islamic Jihad members. An Israel prison service official described the escape as a major security and intelligence failure. Palestinian militant groups hailed it as heroic. The Minister of Labor and Employment, Chris Ngege, while fielding questions from State House correspondent in Abuja, said the federal government will recover millions of naira wrongly paid to over 588 medical doctors across the country. He explained that affected doctors wrongly benefited from medical residency training fund meant for a particular category of doctors. Ngege said the names of the doctors were uncovered after a thorough scrutinization of the 8,000 names submitted by chief medical directors of federal government health institutions for the training program. The minister, however, revealed that a substantial amount of the money had been refunded by some of the affected doctors while efforts had been intensified to recover the remaining balance. The Independent Electoral Commission Kaduna State Chapter has declared Philip Guada as winner of Saturday's chairmanship election in Jaba local government area of the state. The returning officer, Professor Peter Omale, made the declaration on Monday at the State Independent Electoral Commission office in Koi. Omale said Guada polled 9,012 votes to defeat APC's candidate Benjamin Jock, who polled 5,640 votes. He said the candidate of Action Democratic Party, Al Madu Giet, placed third with 2,732 votes. Following the cholera outbreak in Nigeria, the federal government, through the Federal Ministry of Environment, flagged off campaign of national environmental sanitation on Monday so as to prevent further spread and contain the disease. While briefing the media the flag of campaign exercise, the Honorable Minister of Environment, Mohammed Muhammad Abubakar, who was represented by the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry, Olumuiwa Initong, said, The latest cholera report from the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, which showed a total number of 37,498 suspected cases in 24 states in FCT and the increasing number of new cases in Zamfara, Bauchi, Kano, Gombe, Plateau, Niger, and of FCT, prompted the government to take the steps to tackle the cholera scorch. The minister called on well many Nigerians, government, NGOs, CBOs, development partners, individuals and community leaders, including the media organizations to collaborate with the Federal Ministry of Environment and other stakeholders as partners in progress in implementing environmental sanitation programs to control and prevent the spread of cholera outbreak and other sanitation-enabled diseases in the country. Saadi Gaddafi, son of the late Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi, has been freed from prison, where he had been held since 2014. Saadi Gaddafi was famous for attempting an Italian football career. In 2003, he signed for Perugia, but rarely stepped on the pitch. He fled to Niger, where his father was overthrown and killed in 2011, but was extradited back to Libya, where he was cleared of crimes, including murder. A justice ministry source told newsmen the decision was made to free Gaddafi following a court ruling several years ago. A separate source said certain conditions had to be met before the release. He had been accused of the killing of Libyan football coach Bashir Ariani in 2005, as well as committing crimes against protesters when the uprising against his father began in 2011. This is your digital first Pan-African news network, TOS Television, and you're watching TOS News 360, Africa Business and Sports Tours on 10. Stay with us. Welcome back. 
South Africa's jailed ex-president Jacob Zuma has been granted medical parole. The 79-year-old is serving a 15-month sentence for contempt of court at Escort Correctional Center. The nature of his illness was not specified, but a statement said he would complete the rest of his sentence at the community under special conditions. Zuma has been in hospital for the past month where he has undergone surgery. The ex-president handed himself in to police in July after being sentenced to for failing to attend an inquiry into corruption during his presidency. A group of soldiers who ousted Guinea's president Alpha Conde from power on Sunday have ordered the country's cabinet to attend a mandatory meeting Monday. According to a statement on state TV, those who refuse to attend the meeting will be considered rebels. President Conde remains in detention, but his fate is unclear. The UN, African Union and regional body ECOWAS have condemned the coup and called for a return to civilian rule. Capital Conakry is reported to be quiet, but it remains unclear if the entire military backs the coup. And now the National Bureau of Statistics said Nigeria's total foreign trade rose to 12 trillion naira in the second quarter of 2021 as the country recorded increase in exports. The figure represents a 23.28% increase over the value recorded in the first quarter of 2021 and an 88.71% increase compared to the second quarter of 2020. The Bureau disclosed this in its foreign trade goods statistics first quarter 2021, published on Sunday. The NBS said the export component of this trade was valued at 5.1 trillion naira or 42.22%, while the import was valued at 6.95 trillion naira or 57.78%, while the trade balance stood at a deficit of 1.87 trillion naira. And now to sports, Tunisia has retained their FIBA AfroBasket title after beating Côte d'Ivoire 78-75 on Sunday at the Kigali Arena in Rwanda. It was the Tunisians' third AfroBasket title, having claimed the trophy in 2011 in Madagascar and the 2017 edition of the tournament at home. With the win, Tunisia became the first team to win back-to-back -back AfroBasket titles since Angola in 2009. Omar Abada finished with 10 points, while Michael Roll was magnificent by contributing 18 points and 9 assists. Former France footballer Jean-Pierre Adams, who had been in a coma for 39 years, has died at the age of 73. Adams was admitted to hospital for knee surgery in March 1982, but never regained consciousness after an error with a supply of anesthetic. Born in Senegal, the defender made more than 140 appearances for Nice and also played for Paris Saint-Germain. In a statement, PSG said the club would pay tribute to Adams who won 22 caps for France between 1972 to 1976 before their next home game against Monaco on 19 September. Adams also made 84 appearances for Nimes, who said they were sending their most sincere condolences to his loved ones and his family. And that is it on TOS Television News 360 on your digital first Pan African news network for more update. Visit www.tostvnetwork.com. Follow and like our social media handles on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And remember to subscribe on YouTube. Stay with us and enjoy more programs on the network. I am Merciful Ajinomo. Many thanks for watching.